Making a Stuart model steam plant. This one is part 53. Finally, the essential part arrived from my recording studio and I'm in the workshop drilling the mounting holes in the baseboard for the water pump, followed by painting the lamps and generator. And quite unusually, I'm starting this video with a clip of the paint drying. And there's more of this sort of thing at the end of the video, but as I don't want viewers to become too excited, I'm going to move on to underneath the baseboard. What I'm trying to do here by waving my screwdriver about is illustrate that there will be an area underneath the baseboard that will need routing out to join up all the wires. But I won't know where that needs to be until I fit the generator in place in the exact position it's going to be in the finished plant. The generator is actually going to be somewhere quite close to where I'm holding it, but I won't know where it's really going to be until I mount the engine. Once I finalise the position of the generator on the baseboard, I will route a slot underneath the board to match the position exactly where the generator terminals are going to be. In the last episode, you saw me marking the positions for the holes to mount the water pump, and here's the water pump on the baseboard. I'm currently holding a Proxon Minimot motor tool. This is a mains powered one, and this tool is very useful because it drills at right angles to the main body. I'm fitting it with a 3 seconds of an inch drill bit and I'm going to drill four holes in the baseboard on the marks that I made in the last episode. And here they are. The ink hasn't run much further. All I need to do is drill a hole in the centre of each of these black spots. And it's very easy to see when using this right angle drill whether or not you're going into the baseboard at 90 degrees to it. If you haven't got one of these, I recommend that you buy one. I find it very useful and I use it a lot. It's very good for drilling holes in very confined spaces. This isn't a confined space, but it's very good at drilling holes in this too. I'm pleased to say that when I place the water pump over the two holes I've drilled, they're in the perfect position to mount it. With renewed enthusiasm, I'm going to repeat the process on the other two holes. All you have to do is carefully drill the hole in exactly the centre of the black spot. And of course at 90 degrees to the baseboard. The next part of the job that I won't be doing for some time yet will be to thread these holes 5BA and after I harden the threads in the wood using some thin cyanoacrylate adhesive that will be perfectly fine to bolt the pump to the baseboard. I know that because I've done it many times before. And that tip was brought to you from the days when I used to build model aircraft. If it works in balsa wood I'm sure it's going to work in this thick mahogany planking firmly stuck to some 18mm plywood. We all have weeks like this, and this has been just one of those weeks. Not to mention that this morning I noticed that the new extension has a leaky roof. This small red box that you can see is called a Focusrite Claret, and it's a really good gadget. It handles audio and MIDI. I need to use it to handle MIDI so my keyboards work in the studio. And finally, here it is sat in front of one of my studio monitors but it took three attempts for DPD to get it to me. After two failed attempts and photographs of someone's back garden, I asked them to deliver it to a local supermarket, which is seven miles away. After picking it up from the supermarket, now I have it in my possession. It's wired into the system and works beautifully. I'm about to start painting, but before I do, I'm going to show you this clip because I have a story to tell about the making of the video. This is the sad old story of my first and only love, sweet Annabella, and she tore my heart apart. That's enough of the video clip. It's time to paint the lamps and the generator, and I'm using a tin of genuine Stuart Models Stuart Green paint. I'm stirring it up using an Allen key, which I don't normally do, but it was very convenient and the paint wipes off it very easily. This Stuart Models green paint is supplied by Phoenix Precision Paints, so it's really good stuff. I'm starting by painting the lamps. This is quite a boring and repetitive process, so I'll tell you a short story while this is happening. My good friend Colin Green sadly died three years ago. He was 76 years old. Which was not only a bit sad, it was a bit inconsiderate of him, because we were only halfway through making the C.W. Green's Country Band comedy album. This particular video, called The Ballad of Sweet Annabella, 
was about my friend Colin, or C.W. Green, and one of his girlfriends. I'll put the link at the beginning in the text so you can watch this video full length if you want to. It's quite good in a way. The problem was the subject matter. It was all about Colin's girlfriend, who really wasn't a girl at all. And to make the video, we really needed a girl to be partially undressed. And this was a bit of a problem. YouTube generally doesn't allow nudity, nor did we want to make a video of that type anyway. But in order to use the camera angles to make the girl look like she was naked, she actually did have to be naked for the shoot. When I look back at the time that we filmed this video, it really does make me laugh. Not because the woman was a friend of Colin's who was a model and was used to taking her clothes off. That's not what makes me laugh. Most of the filming took place in a hotel room. But for one of the shots, we needed to be in a public bar, so we went downstairs into the main hotel and did some filming in the public bar. It was the middle of the afternoon and no one else was about, except for a man sat on reception. When I went to see him to order some sandwiches, he said, What's going on in that room upstairs? Are you making a porn video? And I said, No, certainly not. We are making a comedy country and western video. To which he replied, whilst giving me a funny look, Yes, of course you are. When I said, no, we're making a comedy country and western video, I couldn't help but be reminded of something I said several years previously. Picture the scene. It's about 1.30 in the morning. My second wife and some friends of ours were sat about having a general drinking and chatting session. My daughter Emma, who's now 45, was only about 13 years old, and she'd asked me to look after her pet stick insect. Suddenly, I remembered that I hadn't fed it, so I went to have a look at it, and it didn't look well. It had sort of a thin and sticky look about it. I remember that Emma had told me to feed the stick insect privet leaves. Thankfully, across the road was a privet hedge. So there am I, with a pair of scissors, stood at this privet hedge at about 1.30 in the morning, when inexplicably a man walked past, walking his dog, which was a bit strange at that time of the morning and he gave me a really funny look. At that point, I then uttered this sentence. Don't worry, I'm only cutting some privet for my stick insect. And as I was saying it, I'm thinking, oh no. And the man, pulling his dog behind him, quickly ran away. It was equally as bad as saying to the hotel receptionist, no, we are not making a porn film, we are making a comedy country and western video. And just for the record, both of these statements are not exaggerated in any way and 100% true. I hope that this interesting anecdote has made the painting sequence less boring for some viewers. Now it's finished, it's looking quite good. It will be better when the paint dries a little bit. And before I get to barrage of comments, I never use primer on rough cast iron because the paint seems to stick perfectly well to it as it is. That's it for now, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists, and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch, and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.